Please be seated. Aloha and welcome to God's church at Kavaiha, where we declare loudly that Jesus Christ is our Savior, our life, our love. Amen? Amen. Amen. Well, today is a wonderful day. I wouldn't say the beginning of a new day for Kavaiha Church, since we have been slowly coming together. But this is a good day because we have our Royal Societies here, our Benevolent Societies and our Civic Clubs, and we welcome you uh, and always welcome you, especially on this day, the birth, the birth date of our King, King Kamehameha. Secondly, uh, I would like to acknowledge uh, our choir who is uh, visiting us from Texas, the uh, Texas Youth uh, Chorale, who uh, will also have a mini concert immediately following this, uh, this service. So uh, we are looking forward to uh, hearing, hearing you and feeling the spirit that you will give us all today. Let's give them a round of applause. Now, we're going to resurrect an old custom that we have here in our church called acknowledging and revering our first-time attendees. Uh, we stopped that practice uh, when the pand pandemic uh, uh, came upon us, but we are resurrecting that. So may I ask for all of the first-time attendees, will you please stand and remain standing so we can honor you? First-time attendees. Uh, remain standing. We've got uh, our folks from Huyaloa will uh, uh, go to you and give you a, a gift. We are so honored to have you, have you here with us today, uh, hearing the word of two very famous kahus. And so we're looking forward to uh, uh, hearing uh, their word. Thank you so much. A couple of announcements. Um, again, uh, just to uh, mention again, uh, the, the choir will be having a mini concert immediately following our service today. We also have uh, in place uh, holy sacraments today. You all have your elements with you. If you don't, uh, please let one of the ushers know uh, so that we can get that to you. In place holy sacraments. Also, uh, our, we, we have changed the way we do uh, Lulu and offerings. Uh, we'll go back to the normal uh, in a while, but uh, we take our, receive our Lulu and uh, offerings and tithing as you depart. There's a, there's a bowl at the uh, entrance. When you leave, you can uh, drop your tithing there. And, uh, of course, uh, after the service, we have some bicentennial coins uh, offered uh, for you for, for a, a monicum amount of money. Uh, they commemorate our 200th uh, anniversary. And the last is, uh, and probably the more important, is, is uh, a new day in our church. Uh, we are launching. Uh, we, we've had it for a while, but we are physically and... Uh, officially launching some new services. Uh, starting uh, today, in fact, at 11 o'clock, we will have a contemporary service led by our kahu. Uh, and we don't know what that's going to look like at the end of the day, nor what it's going to look like in a month. But we do know that the Lord is going to drive that spirit. And uh, what it looks like and how it will be laid out in the program uh, is, is left up to him. Uh, but know that we have uh, recognized the need in our community, and this church is commencing that, fulfilling that need at 11 o'clock today. Join us if you desire. Uh, the second is uh, formally uh, recognizing our youth ministry, our youth services, which is on Saturday. Uh, it will still continue to be on Saturday in the late afternoon and the uh, early evening. It is for youth, not only from this church, but from all churches, a place to gather and do things that youth 
like to do in the Spirit of the Lord. Amen? Amen. So without further ado, As we praise God, as we lift our voices up, as we continue to say hallelujah to our great God. For all those of you who are able to, may we rise as we join hearts and spirits with our great God divine. Epulekako, our heavenly Father, the creator of heaven and earth, you who have created the stars and a billion galaxies. You have created the earth and all that is within it. And you who have created us, we thank you for this time together. We thank you for our halipuli, o ha'o. We say mahalo to our royal societies who have, who have graciously joined in this celebration of Kumehameha. In the reflection of his life, of his legacy, who we are a part of. Lord, we thank you for the Association of Hawaiian um, Civic Clubs and for our congregation and for all those who are watching worldwide today. Lord, be in our presence wherever we are. Lord, lift us up wherever we are. And Lord, heal us wherever we are. For we are your people and we thank you for this time together. And all this we pray, Lord. Ake ho mai kai ku nei mako ya oi ke ku oi ke ya la nani a mako e hui nei malalo ko malu ke ku ke nei ku nei ya oi ho po mai kai ya ho la ake i hale pule e lua hane le ho kai maki ke ku nei ho ku mu ia a pe e pu me kona kahu ki hapai oi ho i kahu kenes mako kane a men kapa pa la kai na ke kona no ho i ke nai na a ke pule e nei mako e ho nani ku nei ya oi. In a la apa o kumako o la ana. Ke noe kune ya o e maalama ki a i na o hana i aku kumei nei me kapo e hiki ole ke aku kumei nei. Na aha hui ali i, aha hui sivila, na hui Hawaii. A pe e pū ke e kua me ka o hana e nana mai nei ma ma o kua e hao Church TV ke ia kakahia ka nei. Ke e kua e ho i kai ka ia mākou. E ho ho o la aho i ka mākou papahana a mākou e awamu nei no ka ho o la ana. Ko mako pili na me oi. A ke pula e nei mako ia oi me ka mahalo nui. Ma kaino kau ki ki hiva hiva o Yesu Kristo. Ka ule o pula e kalaka e nei ia oi. O Yesu ka mea nani a umi e mako e pule ka pule a ka hako pe nei. E ko mako mako e i loko kalani. E ho ano ia kou i noa. E hiki mai kou au puni. E mālama ia kou make make makohonua nei. Elike mei ia i mālama ia makalanila, 
Iha awi meia mākou i kei alā i aina mākou no nei alā. E kala meiho ia mākou i kā mākou lavehala ana. Me mākou e kala nei ka poe lavehala i kā mākou. Mai ho kuu o ia mākou i ka hoo vale vale ia mai. A i hoo pakele no na ia mākou i ka ino. No ka mea nou ke au puni. A me ka mana, a me ka hoo nani ia mau loaku. Amen, amen, amen. Good morning. Aloha. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 This is the kingdom Kamehameha has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. I, I, Ikino. Today we honor the Ali'i of Hawaii and especially Kamehameha the Great, who united our kingdom established our home and laid the foundation for the creation of our royal societies to perpetuate our cultural practices and honor our proud traditions. While we look back to remember Kamehameha and to honor all the Ali'i of Hoi, we act now and pay it forward. We gather, we teach cultural practices and maintain traditions in perpetuity, 
and we provide educational scholarships to our youth and aid to widows and orphans. We remain steadfast, working together, caring for each other, creating, aspiring, and rejoicing in our resilient Lahui. We are the benevolent societies, and we all are a benevolent society. Kamehameha taught us the, value, the valuable lesson of unity. In unity, there is strength, there is protection, compassion, generosity, connectivity, support, fortitude, and solidarity. How shall we display today what Kamehameha has taught us? Today and during the hopefully waning period of this pandemic, we are applying his lesson to the societal and health messages. First message, please get vaccinated. Native Hawaiians and Pacific Islanders make up 25% of the state population, but only 16% of all persons vaccinated were Hawaiians or, or Pacific Islanders. Mm. This compares with Caucasians, who also make up 25% of the population, and 27% are vaccinated, and Asians, who make up 39% of the population, and 53% were vaccinated. We trust you are all vaccinated to protect yourselves and your keiki and your mo'opuna and other loved ones. Mahalo. Please encourage others to get vaccinated. Second, wear a mask. But by being generous, you have unmasked your compassion, love, and caring for each other. Third, maintain physical distances. But by being here today, you are maintaining social connections and being supportive of one another. Remain supportive. Call or text someone. Drop off food or much needed supplies. Mahalo for being benevolent. When we do these things and more, we honor Kamehameha and we pay forward what he taught us and continue his legacy. Mahalo for protecting all our loved ones, for being benevolent. Mahalo for teaching our, mahalo for protecting our home, for being supportive of our cultural practices and our proud traditions. Mahalo for honoring Kamehameha. E ola mau. Mahalo. Mahalo.
Mahalo. Mahalo nui. Mahalo nui. Speaking of Kamehameha and um, Ali Ridley had talked about the unification, about Lokahi, about being unified. And so we as the Lahui of Kiakua, from all around the world, we join in the spirit of, of, of our people. So whether we are here in person in Honolulu, or whether we are as far as Amsterdam, in the Netherlands, or in Illinois, or anywhere else, we are still the Lahui. Our people have been uh, moving to different areas, but we still unified as one thought. Uh, with that in mind, I'm going to call up Jimmy and his um, ohana. Um, can, can you folks come to the front? This is the Matthews family, and they have been attending Kauaiha'o for some years. He and his ohana, unfortunately, will be spending the last Sunday here with us because he has been reassigned to Fourth um, Levensworth, Kansas, where there are tall mountains about two feet high, and they have great oceans about two feet. But they, but we wanted to honor them with with this scriptural passage, and and as and as we bid aloha to them, we know that they'll still be in our hearts, but especially will be in their hearts as they still continue to join us in our online service. Yosua. Yosua mokuna iwakalu kumaha pauku umikumadima. Penei ka helu helu ana. Aina heme ino iko oko manao ke malama ya yehoa. E koho oko ike yala ika oko mea e malama kuei. Ina kua paha a ko oko pa e kupuna i malamai ma keia kapa aku o ka mulivai. Ina kua paha o ka amora. No lako no ka aina e noho nei o ko. A ka o vau a me ko kahale o u e malama mako ya yehoa. This is from Joshua 24 verse 15. But if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, then choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your forefathers served beyond the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Mahalo nui. Can you introduce your family to us? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm Jimmy Matthews, uh, currently stationed at Fort Shafter, Hawaii. My wife, Mindy, my son, James, and Lex. Um, we're, uh, we've really enjoyed um, getting more local culture, and it's been a great, great opening of our eyes. We went to On Post uh, chapels for our first couple of years here, and uh, it's been a great experience for us, and we thank you so much. So to, to leave you with something um, that you will carry on for the rest of your life, um, this, is, this is our bicentennial uh, by Balahemo Lele for you to, uh, it's a bilingual one, so you can actually practice your Olelo Hawaii as well as, uh, you know. ah, forget it. <laughs> so please, um, can our deacons, um, and Kahu, can you come and help us up to, Lay hands on them as we bless them on their on their new journey. Keho na ni aku nei mako ya oi, ike ohana Matthews, ke kua oye ani ani halale na. Mako ya Hawaii no Kansas ke kua. Ke noe kune ya oe, e maala makia e. Ya lako ke ohana nei. Ko lako mau hehi wawae me heu noho e alako e hehi ana a lele ana i kahi wahi e ae. Ko kua ku ya aya ke kua, nao e alaka i nga pai laka e lawe ana ya lako i ko lako home. A ke kua malama kia i ke kahua 
a malalo ho ia ki kahua o ko lākou hale, a i luna ki kaupaku, a i loko no ho i nga paia, ki e kua ho i kaika aku i ki i ohana, ko lākou pilina me oi, a ki e kua, nao, i ka manawa kūpono i kou maka, e ho i ho i, i a lākou i hawa i nei, ke i ho me nei, i a manawa kūpono no. Ki e kua, nga kou po e anela no ho i, e ala kai, ki ai ho o pakele ho i a lākou. Mai ka ino mai, a haavi aku i a lākou i kela ike ka na awa o no ho i, e ho o kou pono i kou make make me i a ohana nei. A ki e kua, nao i a lākai i a lākou, a ho i ho i mai i a lākou i ka manao kou pono. Ke pule nei mā kou i a oe, ke i a manao, ke i a noe, ke i a kalo kalo, mā kai no a kau ke ki hiva hiva o Iesu Kristo, Yo lai mā kou, āmene, āmene, āmene. Let's give them a big round of applause as they continue their journey in life. Thank you. Mahalo nui. Kā kākou helu helu. Maka olelo maku e hine no ke iala, loa ana o maka puke o Ioane. Ioane mo kuna e kahi, pauku e kahi a hiki i ka umiku makolu. Penei ka helu helu ana, i ki nohi ka lokou, me ke akua ka lokou, a o ke akua no ka lokou. Me ke akua no ho ia i ki nohi, hana ia i hola na mea pau e ia. A ole ke kahimea i hana ia, i hana ole ia e ia. I loko ona ke ola, a o ua ola la ka malamalama no na ka anaka. Puka maila ka malamalama i loko ka pouli, a ole nae i hookipa ka pouli ia ia. Ho una ia maila e ke akua ke kahi kanaka o i o ane kona i noa. Hele maila o ia i me ho ike, i ho ike a ia no ua malamalama la. I mana o i o ai na kanaka pau mao na la. A ole no o ia ka malamalama, a ka uehele mai ia e ho ike i ka malamalama. O ka malamalama i o ia, ka mea nā nā e ho o malamalama na kanaka pau, e hele mai ana i ke ao nei. I ke ao nei o ia, a i hana ia ke lao e ia. A ole na e ko ke ao nei i ike i a ia. Hele mai leia i ona, hele mai leia no na iho, a ole kona poe i malama iaia. A ka, o ka poe i malama iaia, me ka mana o iho i kona i noa. Havi mai leia i ka poe pono no lākou, e lilo ai i poe keiki nga kia kua. O ka poe i hānau ia, a ole na ke koko, a ole na ka makimake o ke kino, a ole hoi na ka makimake o ke kanaka, nga ke kua nō. A lua ahou nō, ka kako helu helu ma ka puke o ho ike ana. Ho ike ana mo kuna e kolu, pauku i wakālua. Penei ka helu helu ana. A ia hoi, ke kua nei au ma ka puka e ki ke ke ana. I nga lohe ke kahi i ko uleo, a wehe i ka puka, a e komo aku au i o nga lā. A e ai pū au meia, a oia pū mea u. Our scripture lesson in English is taken from the book of John, chapter 1, verses 1 to 13. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and the, that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. 
the true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through the world was made through him. And though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of dis natural descent, nor of human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. And our second scripture is taken from the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 20. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him and he with me. May the Lord add his blessings to the reading of his word. Thanks be to God. Mahalo ke kua. Mamo ko hua ho maka ana. Maki maki e ha vi ku aloha ya kahu honoa kahu William Kaina me mama kahu aloha nui. A pe pu me ke kahu ki ha pai kahu ken makua kane me mama kahu aloha nui. Me ka aha hui ali ka ohano kawaya hao na kia kona ame na kapapa ala kai ke hui hui mele no texas mai aloha nui loa kako a pauloa i i'm i'm not too sure if i it was hard for me to hear because you all have your masks but do you think the aloha can penetrate the mask let's try that again aloha nui kako a pauloa Oh, I hear you. And you know, feel, feel free because I'm used to as a teacher that sometimes the things I, I, I uh, pull out might be boring to the audience. I try not to be. So if you have to stand up, go stand up and get yourself at any point in doing what I have to share with you. Uh, today, so I thought, gee, I should be at Ali Sunday today for the founder of the Hawaiian Kingdom, our beloved Ali Inui Kamehameha Ekahi. So I called up Kahu, you know, is this Ali Sunday this week or not? And yes, I get all the email, I just didn't look. Yeah, it's this Sunday. I said, oh, okay. Why? This is a between text. Uh, because I thought I could volunteer to do sermon for you if it was next week. But this week is only a few days away. And he said, oh, please. <laughs> so here I am. <laughs> I have to do a sermon for Waianai Protestant Church, so why not come and share with you folks also? So, aloha and thank you for welcoming me again. I know it's been a whole long two weeks since I saw you last, but I'm always uh, happy to be here and feeling home. And it's so wonderful to see our ahui in, um, in large uh, attendance. Um, and we haven't been able to see this in a while, although we've had two previous Ali'i Ali Sunday. Uh, mahalo. Yeah, and um, here representing also the Association of Hawaiian Civic Clubs as it's Peliki Ken and I also welcome my ohana of the Hawaiian Civic Clubs who are here. Okay, so today sermon. Do you remember when you met that special person? The goosebumps and chills ran up and down your spine. So excited, the giddy moments. I see smiles through your mask, they're beaming. That means you're relating to this. No promises yet, no commitments, except for writing the other person's last name in association with your first, or, or vice versa, you know, those silly things. Ah, young love. And then that goes on for a couple of days, and a, a couple of days, and a couple of days, and, and then, and, and, and then, and then, and, and what, what are we? Are, are, are we going out? Are we, are we friends? Are we, are we just friends? Uh, what are we? Do you remember? Do you remember the defining moment that went from the undefined to the defined in any of your relationships? Perhaps your significant one, of course. That defining moment where, okay, we're a thing now. You want some fun? Those of you who have parents alive, go ask your parents. What was that defining moment? that you folks became a couple, or grandparents are like, ask them, it's more fun. Or maybe our deacons here, go ask them after church. 
or, or, or Kahu. <laughs> I can see Mama Kahu and Kahu kind of going to zip out of here quick before you all run and chase them down and find out what was that defining moment. I'm going to tell you Kahu Kaina's answer. It's going to be brilliant. And it's, it was Holy Spirit led. That's Kahu Kaina. <laughs> so I should have entitled today's sermon, DTR, I Love Eucalyptus. Okay, I'm going to tell you a story about a young man. A little over, maybe it was 25 something years ago, started to talk to this young lady. Filled with doubt, but encouraged by hope, he wanted this girl to be his girlfriend. Eventually, he actually wanted to tell her those three words. Not, I'm hungry now, but I love you. I feel like there should be music. Boom, 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 boom. And all he had the guts to say one day was, Do you know what eucalyptus is? She answered, uh, Yes. To this he mustered up, I love eucalyptus. And waited, and there was no response. Uh oh, what did he do? Panicking. Day after day, they end their conversations besides the closing song that he sang to her. Thank you for a lovely evening. It was so wonderful being with you. Also ending with, I love eucalyptus. But one night, she responded to him, Ah, oh, I love them too. But wait, you would think it would be all G, <clears throat> all good. But it wasn't. His doubting concern, you know that of doubting Thomas, was wait, she said, I love them too. Is she telling me that she really loves eucalyptus? Is that what she's saying? What torture this man caused himself. Finally, unable to restrain himself, he told the young lady, Forget about Calyptus. And she said, what? Forget about Calyptus. I love you. To which she responded, I love you too. I was waiting so long to hear you tell me that. What a naive baboos I was. I mean, he was. Why are you laughing? That's your story, Kahu. <laughs> yes, and Elena was so patient. <laughs> and she, don't tell her. I think she's driving on the way to take our daughter to ballet, so she may not be what. Oh, but she can watch Kwai Hao later, yeah? Which she does. Oh, oh. Oh, well. It's only good. If you are 40 years old or younger, and if you are, um, let's say, with the times, generation X or a baby boomer, so you're with the times, then you might know what DTR means. And no kupuna, it does not mean digital tape recorder. DTR, who wants to shout out what that means? Huh? Define the relationship. Define the relationship. See, I don't want to just give you the answer. So when Buddy put it in there, we gave him DTR. That was it. Because otherwise you would probably start thinking of what I'm going to say. Define the relationship. You see my story connected to the eucalyptus above. Um, Urban Dictionary says, Define the relationship when two people discuss their mutual understanding of a romantic relationship, casual dating, serious boyfriend, girlfriend. It's that point when you got to know. Are we or are we not? So when did you know you became a Christian? When were you able to define that relationship? Today's sermon, DTR, I Love Eucalyptus, allows a Christian lens to be applied in building our relationship with Keakua. And my three points are this. Have you clearly DTR'd Keakua? Have you clearly DTR'd with God? Hello, Elua. Number two, 
Have you introduced him to your family yet? <laughs> and hello, Ekolu, number three. What about that comfortable stage when that kicks in? So let's start with number hello, Ekahi, number one. According to Urban Dictionary, DTR concerns mutual understanding. Hmm. That would mean Keakua has some say in the design of the relationship. Of course he does. We do not have to search far in the Bible to see how Keakua is defining his role. I selected two scriptures to clearly identify that today. One, that whole section of John, verses, John chapter 1, verse 1 to 13, is just a beautiful way of Keakua saying who Jesus is. And who you are, if you choose to be. And then, Revelation 3.20, about knocking the door. Those of you who've heard me, I've preached on 3.20 already. <coughs> that Kyoku is not just knocking on that door. He wants in so badly, he's pounding on that door. And that door has one handle on the inside. You have to let him in. The Bible is flooded with invitations for us to join in a relationship with Kekua, with God. Specifically, then, how does Kekua define his relationship with us? Well, even as early as Genesis 1.1. Genesis 1.1, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He already set the tone by building the foundation. Here's the heavens, here's the earth, I made it. Keakua says. And a little bit later down in scripture, God said, let us make man in our image. That whole idea of our image, where the Trinity is first brought to us in the book of Genesis. But the fact is, he's defining who we are. We are reflections of, of Him. Defining a relationship based on God creating us in His image. This is design and define. As Exodus 20, first, the first commandment says, And God spoke all these words, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery, you shall have no other gods before me. Kiyoku says, don't you put anyone other than I. And don't you try to put them before me. Period. Defined. The relationship on his side is defined. The Bible, as I said before, is filled with invitations to join in a relationship with Kiyoku. And God thoroughly defines his role. Now, I could spend a whole hour or more, I'm not going to do that, <laughs> on the complexity of being in a relationship with God in three person, blessed Trinity. <laughs> and although I'm not going to spend an hour on it, do any of you ever address Kiakua, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, in different needs? Like maybe God the Father for certain ones, God the Son for protection, and God the Holy Spirit for other protections, or something like that. You know, personally, I had to think deeply on this one. And this was triggered really by my wife's thinking. Did you ever think about that? God in three persons, blessed Trinity, or blessed as we sing it, in holy, holy, holy. Wow. I find that I tend to pull it to Jehovah, God the Father, and then I slip in Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, and then I seal the deal by in the pule wit in Jesus' name. Wow. That's, that's, how's that for multiple personality? And it's no disorder. It's no disorder. It is in very much order. It's that relationship part was defined in the beginning. In the beginning. And continues to be defined for us today. Point number two. Hello, Elua. Have you introduced him to your family? 
Are you, are you seen in public him, with him? Are you ashamed or afraid to be seen in public yet? Wondering what mother, might others think? As the relationship is defined and designed, there comes the day when you have to introduce him or her to your parents. And you know, I am talking about the secular relationship at this point, not, not the relationship with God. But when you decided that time of your secular relationship with your partner, did you, did you have to explain to your other half all the quirks of your family? Now when you get there, my dad, da da da, my mom, da da da. Did you have to like do this, build this whole context before you introduced that person to your parents or maybe vice versa? You know, the first time I went to my wife's house, I, I, I don't think it was our first date. It was the first dinner I was going to have at her house. Her mother made chili rice for dinner. And if you know me well enough, like my wife didn't at that time, because we weren't, we were just starting. I don't, my kidney beans are not my friend. And it has nothing to do with any residual effects, it has nothing to do with the taste. It all is about the texture. I cannot get past the gooey, powdery consistency over skin. And, and forgive me saying this, it made me think of something that crawls on the ground. As a child, so I had this complex in my head. But I was raised, I think, right by my Tutu, who taught me, you eat what's put in front of you and don't you dare make a face. Something I'm trying to teach Hosanna right now at five. So let's just say my mother-in-law thinking at that time, not my mother-in-law, but now my mother-in-law thinking that I'm going to eat a lot hearty, gives me the hearty heaping bowl of bean-laden chili. I smile, say thank you, and I eat it, all of it. Never chewing one of those beans. Because <laughs> I, that's the consistency. I swallowed every single bean. Now I'm telling you that because when you invite me to your house, if you give me that, I'm going to eat it and smile at you and you will never know. Okay? <laughs> but similarly, at a Christian lens, you just can't keep Keakua in your pocket. You cannot keep the relationship with Keakua stifled. And be hamau, it can't be a secret. Cannot. It's too good to keep to yourself. And those of you who have been blessed will agree. I know you will. When you are in love, that fresh love of which I spoke earlier, are you not proclaiming it from the highest mountains? Today maybe um, posting it. Uh, maybe talking to your friends until they get sick of you, talking to them about it. So how does Kiyakua fit into this family plan? And I know you understand that when I'm talking about family, that I'm talking about any definition of family, whether it's my literal family, whether it's my work family, my church family, my Ahahui family, or my friend family. At what point do you say it is important for me to have a plus one. And that if I'm invited to a party and that plus one is not allowed, maybe that's not a party I should be at. You know, working in different um, organizations, we have all these things and everybody, I got a plus one. And sometimes you like crack them, yeah? Hey, you know how much food costs? But Hawaiian style will go, welcome. We smile, welcome. Yeah, bring your whole family of 10. It's okay. Oh, what am I going to do? <laughs> We're supposed to know better, yeah? If the invitation says, we have reserved the place for one, that's one. <laughs> have you ever seen when they put, you have one and they put a zero next to it and make it 10 or something like that? I thought, oh, how rude. But again, Hawaiian style and a gracious spirit of benevolence that was uh, shared by Ali Iki today. We're going to say yes, yes, come. That's the way we're taught. <laughs> but I seriously say, at what point do we have to insist that Keakua is our plus one? And we bring him to our families with us. 
And it might be done in a, in a subtle way. It might be in a pro proclaiming way. Till your friends get sick of you talking about him. Good for you. It's time that people know you are in a relationship with Jesus Christ. You know, those of you who play on Facebook, you can go to that place and go information about. So it's information about Joe and you click on it and then you can see it says something like, is in a relationship with. Yeah? So, so it's funny because you see that and some people are funny. They put, uh, like Chuck, I think Chuck says, Chuck Tilton is in a relationship with Zippies. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Teasing Chuck. <laughs> but it's funny. Some people have humor when they're doing their, their uh, Facebook posts. But wouldn't it be cool if somebody started to put on in a relationship with Jesus Christ on their Facebook post? Even if just for one day or something like that. Just to see how people would react. If they would or they wouldn't. It's time we let people know we are in a relationship. We're going steady with Jesus. Matthew 10, verse 32. Whoever acknowledges me before others, I will also acknowledge before my Father in heaven. You know, and it goes on to say, but whoever disowns me before others, I will disown before my Father in heaven. It's important to not forget that part. But I really want today to lift up the, the part that says, you acknowledge God, He acknowledges you before His Father. Mahalo ke kua. Anybody need to stand up yet? I'm on the third point. Remember I had only three points. You know, my, my church, they're really honest with me. When I tell them, oh, today's sermon is six pages long, they go, oh, <laughs> their face, you know. I go, I'm trying to make them exciting. One day I said, oh, today's sermon, I'm sorry, it's only four pages long. You should have seen their face brighten up. <laughs> I'm kidding, that's not like that. I always tease them about that. Third, Manao. What about that comfortable stage? As Elena and I were talking on this sermon, we we're talking about the time in a relationship where we get used to. I, I remember hearing as a boy, used to too. Any of you remember that? Oh, I used to do that. <laughs> I used to do that. <laughs> I thought, oh, that'd be a cool sermon title too. Used to do that. <laughs> used to do. We build these comforts. We hit a doldrum, perhaps, in the relationship. Maybe even rolling at our, our eyes at our partner when they do whatever they do. Ellen asked me last night, you think God rolls his eyes at us? And we had a good laugh, but then she continued. Like, she says, like, does Kiakua with extended breath say, oh, hi Lama, here you go again with this same ask. Don't you know I have all these people to take care of? And he rolls his eyes. I assured Elena, and I told her very clearly that God listens earnestly and excitedly to me and he told me to tell her that he wants her to do the same. Thank you the few people who laughed at that joke. Kidding aside, in that time when we get used to, to the relationship in a Christian lens, we begin to visit old habits in our life. Perhaps we stop doting on God. Stop showing appreciation. Stop loving Him. And you know, it's really on our side of the defined relationship that this happens. You see, Keakua never wavered, never changed all the way from Genesis 1-1 to June 6, 2021 and will not change. Never. In the secular worldly relationship, we hear the comments, Ah, oh, you've changed. Or, I don't like what you've become. In a relationship with God, He will not ever, ever be the one to change. So if anyone is to be blamed for going outside of the boundaries of a relationship 
with God, it's not going to be him. And better yet, his love is also never going to change either. If we look at the entirety of mankind and womankind, we have failed God so many times. Two of the largest catalyzing events in which we have had the chance to prove a defined relationship with God, I would say probably the reasons why the flood was brought. And number two, when Jesus Christ was nailed to the cross. Because God, God sent His only begotten Son for, because He lo so loved the world. And we messed up. And yet, He continues to love us. Romans 5.8 But God demonstrates His own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Magic word. Conclusion. To close, some of you on social media might pay much attention to hashtags. You know what hashtags are? Anybody? I know most of you know hashtags, right? It, it looked like the number sign. That's what used to be on the phone. You press pound or number. And did you ever have a beautiful kupuna trying to get with it? Oh, what is this pound something? Pound kamehameha day. No, it's hashtag kupuna kamehameha day. We got to help them along, you know? I should say I'm the first one to have to learn these things. Um, so if we looked at the entirety of mankind, Kiakua was always there for us. Hashtags are out there. There's two interesting ones that say, hashtag couples goals. Have any of you heard of that one? Hashtag couples goals. Anybody? Good. That means you're all going to look. I should look at the, the young ones in the back. They probably have heard of these. Um, or hashtag relationship goals. Anybody heard that? All right. So what I'll share with you that is, these hashtags, and you could actually go and look them up, are people's desire for what is a good relationship. What is a good relationship? What is the desired or ideal relationship that I'd like to be in? And people post pictures and they post ideas. But you know, it'd be interesting that there'd be a similar hashtag that says the ideal relationship with God. Hashtag ideal relationship with God or hashtag relationship with Kekua or with God. And to help each other help our communities establish what that ideal relationship is with Kiakua. You know, today, is, as, as we all already have visited the legacy of Kamehameha the Great, we are remembering this great king and founder of our Hawaiian kingdom. I truly believe Kamehameha's relationship, relationships were well-defined. And he was in balance and therefore pono. It is said that following the Battle of New Wanupali in 1795, Kamehameha returns to an area called Kapalama. And he goes there not to gloat on his victory. He also names the area Lanakila at that point. You know the place Lanakila? It was named after Kamehameha's battle, to celebrate his battle. But he goes back to Kapalama not to gloat with the people of the area, but to actually help build and rebuild that community. You see, there were so many warriors there that, that the Lo'i were somewhat... Uh, destroyed. And remembering his kuleana to his spiritual love, remembering his kuleana to his aina and to his new subjects of the island Moku o Oahu, he needed to go and make that good. He needed to make that good. And so, so what is important is I believe that Kiakua, I'm sorry, Kamehameha is an, is an exemplary idea of building and defining a relationship with his people, his aina and his spirituality. And that's why I dare say he was pono, very much in balance. To close, I'd like to challenge us all to consider where our relationships stand with each other, with ourselves. How is your relationship with yourself? Is it in balance? Is it pono? And especially with keakua, with God. Think about the hashtags I said, and think about your kuleana to establish 
the same building and defining a relationship for your side with God because his is already established. Psalm 34, 17 through 19. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to a brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The righteous person may have troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. Amen. Mahalo kia kua. Mahalo nui kau. That was a very intense, that was a very intense <laughs> message. Intense. <laughs> In our unification, you know, we are, we are now into, um, this is our communion time. And because we have online congregants now, we get planted, or as we say, we get choked. So uh, to give them time to go to the, to, to the kitchen to go get there mm. as we break bread, uh, I'm going to prepare all of us for this communion time. was given by Christ himself for the very first time and when Jesus Christ gave communion he broke bread and as we celebrate this we remember that the breaking of bread this holy communion is not an addendum to the worship service it is always a part of the church worship service and so uh, you guys eat every day that's called breaking bread and when you do that's what Jesus Christ has us do. As we pray over our meal every single day, whether we eat breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or whether we eat breakfast and dinner, or anything um, within that system, that's the breaking of bread. And for every time we do that, we give honor and praise and thanksgiving to Kiakua himself, because he is the one who gives us all of our supplications. And so we do this today. Um, today we have our individualized, for those who would like to join in um, at our communion table, our individualized one. And so let us begin with these words of institution. So on the night that he was betrayed, Jesus Christ stood up and while they were still eating, he took bread 
And after giving thanks, he said, take, eat all of it. This is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Ikalako ai ana, lalawi hola o yesu i kabarena. O alo halo akulaia, vavahi hola, a havi maila na kapo e haumana. I maila, e lave o ko e ai, o ko o kino ke ia. And then he took a cup, and when after he had given thanks, he gave it to his disciples, and he said, This is my blood of the new covenant. Shed for you, for the forgiveness of sin. So drink all of it in remembrance of me. Nalaui hola hoi oya ike ki aha. Ho alo holo akula. Havi maila ya lako. I maila. E inu oko a pao keia. No kamea. O ko ukoko keia no ke kaua ho. I ho okahe ia no na mea he nui loa. I mea e kalayai nahala. And so remembering your gracious acts in Jesus Christ, we take this creation of bread and wine. Ipulikako, ikamakua lani, pour out your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these your gifts of bread and wine and the bread that we break and the cup we bless to be the communion of the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. So by your Spirit, make us one with Jesus Christ now that we may be one with all who share in this feast, united in ministry in every place. And as this bread is Christ's body for us, send us out to the body of Christ in the world. So we raise these prayers along with the prayers we have yet to understand and articulate. In Jesus' name, amen. So the table is prepared. Take, eat, all of it in remembrance of him.
those who are able, will you please rise and join me in the seat of faith and prayer of Can we turn, O oh God, we thank you for refreshing us at your table, granting us the presence of Jesus Christ. Increase our love for one another as members of God's very own family. Strengthen our faith and send us forth into the world with the good news that Jesus is Lord and Savior of us all. By the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us faithful to do your will. Go with us to the streets, to our homes, and to our places of labor and leisure, that whether we are gathered or scattered, we may be the servant church of our servant, Jesus Christ, in whose glorious name we pray and rejoice. Amen. Thank you for all of the things that you have given us, for the bounty within our lives. Be gracious unto us as we relish in your kingdom's name. I mawa ku kalo ku mai ka i oka haku o Yesu Kristo me ki aloha ki a ku a me ka launa pu ana mai o ka uhane he molele me o ko pa ka he apau. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Paulo que eu te amo.